Good morning, friends, and welcome to this Episcopal consecration of the Right Reverend Dr. Morgan Morio, who's come all the way from Florida to be consecrated bishop. Um, he's going to be bishop for the Old Templar Church, and he's also an associate uh, member of our Mar Martoma Liberal Catholic yes. Church. The rite will be liberal Catholic shorter form with a consecration of a bishop from the liberal Catholic liturgy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. May the Lord purify me that I may worthily perform his service. We say together the Confiteor on page two. O Lord, thou hast created us to be immortal and made us to be an image of thine own eternity. Yet often we forget the glory of our heritage and wander from the path which leads to righteousness. But thou, O Lord, hast made us for thyself and our hearts are ever restless till they find their rest in thee. Look with the eyes of thy love upon our manifold imperfections and pardon all our shortcomings, that we may be filled with the brightness of the everlasting light and become the unspotted mirror of thy power and the image of thy goodness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and sanctify you. The Lord in his loving kindness look down upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord absolve you from all your sins and grant you the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Mayest thou be blessed by him in whose name thou shalt be burned. the presentation. Knowest thou him to be worthy? Thanks be to God. We will take it as already read. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Please read it. Bishop elect. In the, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, Amen. I, Morgan Lurio, chosen Bishop of the Church, do promise all due reverence and obedience in manners canonical to the presiding bishop and to his successors. So help me God. Through Christ our Lord. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. The order established of old by the fathers teaches and commands that whoso is elected to the Episcopal order shall be beforehand diligently examined in all charity concerning the doctrine of the Holy Trinity and the diverse relations and virtues suitable to this charge and it is seemly that this practice be maintained. For since we verily believe that this stewardship has been committed unto us by Christ himself, it behoves us to assure ourselves that they to whom we in turn commit it shall know 
and in our hearts be fully persuaded how great is their responsibility before him. In his name, therefore, and in virtue of this authority and commandment, we now ask of thee, well-beloved brother, in sincere charity, whether, if thou be ordained to this sacred charge, thou wilt exercise its powers holy for what seemeth unto thee the true benefit of Christ's holy church, and for no other purpose whatsoever, laying aside utterly all thought of personal predilection or advancement. With my whole heart, I will endeavour so to do. Wilt thou, so far as in thee lies, set thy affection on things above and not on things on earth? I will. Wilt thou, with God's help, ever remember that in this high office to which thou art called, it is thy bounden duty and should be thy constant care to show an example of godly life to all those given into thy charge? I will. Wilt thou ever cherish as a sacred trust the power now to be committed unto thee and solemnly pledge thyself to exercise all care and discretion in the choice of those upon whom in Christ's name thou shalt bestow the gift of holy orders? I will. Wilt thou hold thyself ever ready to do service in Christ's name to all men, so far as thou art able, remembering that the noblest title, noblest title of a bishop is servant of the servants of God. I will. Wilt thou, for the sake of the Lord's name, <coughs> seek ever to be gentle and tender to the sorrowful and those who suffer want? I will. Wilt thou ever bethink thee that thou shouldst be a father unto thy people, and most of all show love unto the little ones among thy flock? Remembering how Christ spake, Suffer the little children to come unto me, and forbid them not, for of such is the kingdom of God. I will. The Lord keep thee in all these things, well beloved brother, and strengthen thee in all goodness. Amen. Dost thou believe according to the measure of thy understanding and the powers of thy mind? In the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, from whom, by whom, and in whom are all things in heaven and earth, visible and invisible, bodily and spiritual. I do. The Lord increase in this faith in thee, well beloved brother in Christ, that thou mayest lead thy flock to a knowledge of the divine wisdom. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the undivided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be honour and glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the world. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the undivided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be power and glory forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. We're in the, the book. Let us pray. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty, everlasting God, by whose Spirit the whole body of the Church is made holy and governed, do thou pour forth thy sanctifying grace 
into the heart of this thy servant who is about to be numbered among the shepherds and rulers of thy church, that with pure heart and open mind he may faithfully receive of the plenitude of the Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank thee, Lord, for the teaching and example of St. Matthias, and we pray that those to whom his wondrous power has descended may ever be filled with thy wisdom and thy love, that under the firm guidance of thine holy apostles, thy holy church may ever joyfully serve the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Teach us, O Lord, to see thy life in all men and in all the peoples of thine earth, and so guide the nations into an understanding of thy laws, that peace and goodwill may reign upon earth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The portion of scripture appointed for the epistle is taken from the second chapter of the Acts of the Apostles, beginning at the first verse. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven, as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now when this was noised abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded, because that every man heard them speak in his own language, and they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these who speak Galileans? And how hear we every man, man in our own tongue wherein we were born, Parthians and Medes and Elamites and dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and Cappadocia, in Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, in Egypt and in the parts of Libya around Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians. We do hear them speak in our own tongues the wonderful works of God. Here endeth the epistle. It appertains to a bishop to consecrate, to ordain, to offer sacrifice, to anoint, to bless, to loose and to bind, to baptize and to confirm, to preside, to interpret and to judge. Let us pray then, dearest brethren, that Almighty God, in his great loving kindness and watchful care over his church, may bestow on this bishop elect a plentiful grace for the performance of this ministry. God the Father, seen of none, God the co-eternal Son, God the Spirit with them one, hear us, Holy Trinity. God, eternal, mighty King, unto thee our love we bring, through the world thy praises ring. We are thine, O Trinity. 
Christ, the Lord of life and light, ruler of the starry might, fount of glory infinite, thee we worship, Master. Mighty Lord, we hail thee here, recognize thy presence, dear. Feel and know that thou art near, keeping thus thy promise. Though thy face we cannot see, as of old in Galilee, strong in faith we worship thee, ever present master. From our fathers we have heard of the gift thy hand conferred. We have proved thy holy word, be that gift outpoured. Though thy form from earth had gone, thine apostles handed on, Sacramental Benison, be that blessing with us. We this power would now convey, strengthen thou our hands, we pray, for thy might through us today. Hear us, Holy Master. Monarch, at thy feet we kneel, for thy servant we appeal. Fill his heart with holy zeal, in thy service, Master. Thou of holy church, the head, mystic power upon him shed. By thy love may he be led, hear us, holy master. Link in mystic bond with thee, this thy bishop may he be. From the world and self set free by thy power, O Master. May he stand before thy face, filled with love and heavenly grace. Grant him with thy saints a place near thee, Lord and Master. We beseech thee, hear our prayer. Bless thy servant seated there. Hold him in thy loving care. Hear us, Holy Trinity. Hear thy servants as they pray. Help thy chosen one today. Bless and hallow him for a hear us holy trinity pour thy loving kindness great on this chosen candidate bless him hallow consecrate hear us holy trinity God the Father, seen of none, God the co-eternal Son, God the Spirit with them one, we are thine, O Trinity. Please come
closer. That's it. O Lord Christ, the fountain of all goodness, who by the operation of the Holy Spirit hast appointed divers orders in thy church, and for its greater enrichment and perfecting dost pour down thy gifts abundantly upon men, making some to excel in wisdom, others in devotion, and yet others to be well skilled in action. Pour down upon this thy servant of the fullness of the Holy Ghost, that in the pontifical dignity to which we are about to raise him, he may shine resplendent with all manner of heavenly virtue. O thou great shepherd and bishop of the souls of men, to whom be praise and adoration from men and from the angel host. Amen. Mm. Come, thou Creator, Spirit blessed, and in our souls take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill their hearts which thou hast made. Great Paraclete, to thee we cry, O highest gift of God most high, O living fount, O fire, O love, and sweet anointing from above. Thou in thy sevenfold gift art known, the finger of God's hand we hold. The promise of the Father, thou, who does the tongue with power endow. Kindle our senses from above, and make our hearts o'erflow with love with patience firm and virtue the weakness of our flesh supply. For let us drive our tempting foe, and thine abiding peace bestow. For shall we not with thee for guide turn from the path of life aside? O may thy grace on us bestow the Father and the Son to now and thee through endless time confessed of those eternal spirit blessed. All glory while the ages run be to the Father and the Son 
who gave us life the same to thee. O Holy Ghost, eternally. Amen. Receive the Holy Ghost for the office and work of a bishop in the Church of God. O oh God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost, most blessed and adorable Trinity, who wert and art and art to come, as thou hast now bestowed upon this thy servant of thine awful power, and hast deigned to consecrate him as thy representative and a teacher of thy people. Open, we pray thee, his heart and mind to thy heavenly grace. That he may handle wisely that which he has received, and being ever mindful of thee, he may exercise his sacred power to the honour and glory of thy holy name. Fulfil in thy chosen bishop the perfection of thy service, and having entrusted him with the supreme dignity, do thou sanctify him with unction from above. May thy head be consecrated. Anointed and consecrated with heavenly blessing in the pontifical order. So that the power which thou dost receive from on high may flow forth from thee in ever greater abundance and glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Mm. Thou who art wisdom, strength, and beauty, show forth thy glory in this thy servant. Let thy wisdom dwell in his mind and enlighten his understanding that in judgment he may be true and a wise counsellor unto his people, discerning in all spiritual knowledge. May he be strong and of good courage, sustaining his people in the face of darkness and despondency, a tower of strength to them that falter on the way. Let the beauty of holiness shine forth in his conversation and his actions. Do thou fill him, O Lord, with reverence and make him devout and steadfast in thy service. May gentleness adorn his life, that he may win the hearts of men and open them to the light of the Holy Spirit. Above all, may he be so filled with thy love that he may touch the hearts of men with the fire from heaven and bring them from the darkness of ignorance into thy marvellous light, thou who livest and reignest, O Trinity of might and wisdom and love, one holy God throughout all ages of ages. Amen. Amen.
may these hands be consecrated and blessed. Consecrated and hallowed for the work of the pontifical order. By this anointing and with the holy chrism of sanctification. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. <coughs> Mayest thou abound with the fullness of spiritual blessing, so that whatsoever thou dost bless may be blessed, and whatsoever thou dost hallow may be hallowed. And the laying on of these consecrated hands may avail for the spiritual safeguarding of thy people. In the name of our Lord Christ. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, who of thine own most holy will didst offer thyself as a sacrifice for all the world and hast by that limitation of thyself hallowed the sign of the cross and made it forever thine own. Let the seven rays of thine ineffable glory shine through this sacred symbol, that this holy cross may ever be a radiant sun to him who weareth it, and a fount of light and venison to all thy faithful people. O thou who reignest from the cross forever and ever. Amen. O Christ, pure Lord of love, whom the angel hosts obey, touch thou with sacred fire this ring, which in thy name we bless, that he who wears it may ever show forth thy love and purity, and all who touch it and shall know thy healing grace. Amen. Receive this stuff and wield thy power with care as shepherd of Christ's flock. By virtue of the sevenfold fire of God, the Holy Ghost, be thou all things to all men, giving more strength unto the strong, yet showing gentleness unto the weak. Full of wisdom for the wise and for the devout, full of deep devotion. Yet as the fla seven flashing colors of the bow make but one pure white ray, so shall thy sevenfold power be all the one great power of love. Receive this cross. 
remembering that only by the perfect sacrifice of the lower nature to the higher canst thou fit thyself to bear it worthily, go forth in the power of the cross, and may the sevenfold light of the Holy Spirit so shine through thee that thou mayest win others to the beauty of sacrifice. Receive this ring. In token of the link which binds thee to our Lord, for symbol of thine office as his legate to thy people. In his most holy name be thou healer of the souls of men, a channel of his love. Amen. Receive the book of the Gospels. And be thou a teacher of the divine wisdom unto the people entrusted to thee. Peace be with thee and with thy spirit. Please rise and read the gospel. This holy gospel is taken from the 14th chapter of the gospel according to St. John, beginning at the 15th verse. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Jesus said unto his disciples, I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. Yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I live, ye shall live also. The Comforter, who is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatever I said unto you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Praise be to thee, O Christ. The Act of Faith on page 5. We believe that God is love and power and truth and light together, that perfect justice rules the world, that all his sons shall one day reach his feet, however far they stray. We hold the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man, we know that we do serve him best when best we serve our brother man. So shall his blessing rest on us and peace forevermore. Okay. Amen. Please be seated. We adore thee, O God, who art the source of all life and goodness, and with true and thankful hearts we offer unto thee this token of thine own life-giving gifts bestowed upon us, thou who art the giver of all.
According to immemorial custom, we now mix water with this wine, praying thee, O Lord, that we may evermore abide in Christ and he in us. We offer unto thee, O Lord, this chalice with joy and gladness. May the worship which we offer ascend before thy divine majesty as a sacrifice, pure and acceptable in thy sight, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mayst thou be blessed by him in whose name thou shalt be burned. As this incense rises before thee, O Lord, so let our prayer be set forth in thy sight. Let thy holy angels encompass thy people and breathe forth upon them the spirit of thy blessing. May the Lord enkindle within us the fire of his love and the flame of everlasting charity. Brethren, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice at thy hands and sanctify our lives in his service. We lay before thee, O Lord, these thy creatures of bread and wine, in token of our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. For here we offer and present unto thee ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a holy and continual sacrifice unto thee. that we who are very members incorporate in the mystical body of thy Son, which is the company of all faithful people, may hear that his most joyful voice. Come unto me, O ye that be blessed of my Father, and possess the kingdom which is prepared for you from the beginning of the world. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Ever one God throughout all ages of ages. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty 
that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Everlasting God. And therefore, with angels and archangels, with thrones, dominations, princedoms, virtues, powers, with cherubim and seraphim, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy together. Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord most high. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Wherefore, O most loving Father, we thy servants do pray thee through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord to receive, to purify, and to hallow this oblation which we make unto thee. We desire to offer this holy sacrifice especially for thy holy Catholic Church, for Harold our King and all that are put in authority under him, for me thine unworthy servant, for Bishop Bruno, and especially for him in whom Christ's holy name we have admitted to the order of the Episcopate. And for all our bishops, clergy and faithful, for those here present in spirit and for all who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness or any other adversity. Especially we pray for a fast recovery from surgery for Dom Edward, and any others who are known to us who are ill at this time. Likewise, do we offer it for all those thy children whom it hath pleased to deliver from the burden of the flesh, especially for our departed parents, grandparents, relatives, and friends. that freed from earthly toil and care, they may enjoy the felicity of thy presence, evermore praising thee and in word and deed. O God, everlasting, living and true. Wherefore, soft voice. Wherefore, O Lord God, Father Amen. Almighty, we pray thee to look down on and accept these offerings which we, thy servants, and thy whole household do make unto thee, in obedience to the command of thy most blessed Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Which offerings do thou, O Father, deign with thy Holy Spirit and Word to bless, approve, and ratify, that they may become for us his most precious body and blood who the day before he suffered took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and with his eyes lifted up to heaven unto thee, God his almighty Father, and giving thanks to thee, he blessed, brake, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat ye all of this, for this is my body. In like manner, after he had supped, taking also this noble chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to thee, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of this, for this is my blood. As oft as ye shall do these things, ye shall do them in remembrance of me. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we thy humble servants, 
bearing in mind the ineffable sacrifice of thy Son, do offer unto thee this, the most precious gift which thou hast bestowed upon us, in token of our love and of the perfect devotion and sacrifice of our minds and hearts to thee, and we pray that thou wouldst command thy holy angel to bear our revelation to thine altar on high, there to be offered by him who as the eternal high priest forever offers himself as the eternal sacrifice. And we do pray for thy servants who minister at this altar, that meekly celebrating the mysteries of the most holy body and blood of thy Son, they may be filled with thy mighty power and blessing. Likewise, we pray thee to sanctify thy people here present in spirit with these thy heavenly gifts. And through these mysteries do thou hallow, quicken, and bless them, that both in their hearts and in their lives they may show forth thy praise and glorify thy holy name. All these things do we ask, O Father, in the name and through the mediation of thy most blessed Son, for we acknowledge and confess with our hearts and lips that by him were all things made, yea, all things both in heaven and earth, with him as the indwelling life do all things exist, and in him as a transcendent glory, all things live and move and have their being. To whom with thee, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be ascribed all honour and glory throughout the ages of ages. Amen. Instructed by the words of sacred scripture and following the tradition of Holy Church from of old, we now say, oh, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Here do we give unto thee, O Lord, most high praise and hearty thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in the Holy Lady Mary, our Heavenly Mother, in our Holy Father, Saint Benedict, Saint Matthias, the Apostle, and in all thy glorious saints from the beginning of the world, who have been the choice vessels of thy grace and a shining light unto many generations. And we join with them in worship before thy great white throne, whence flow all love and light and blessing through all the worlds which thou hast made. <coughs> o Son of God, who showest thyself this day upon a thousand altars, and yet art one and indivisible, in token of thy great sacrifice, we break this thy body praying that by this action ordained from of old, thy strength, thy peace, and thy blessing, which thou dost give us in this holy sacrament, may be spread abroad upon thy world. And as thou, O Lord Christ, was made known to thy disciples in the breaking of bread, so may thy many children know themselves to be one, in thee, even as thou art one with the Father. We say together, O thou, who in this adorable sacrament has left us a living memorial and pledge of thy marvellous love for mankind, and dost therein graciously draw us into wondrous and mystic communion with thee, grant us so to receive the sacred mysteries of thy body and blood, that our souls may be lifted into the immensity of thy love, and that being filled with a high endeavour, we may ever be mindful of thine indwelling presence and breathe forth the fragrance of a holy life. Amen.
the body of Christ, keep me in eternal life. Amen. The blood of the blood of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Give me shut up. Ye who wish to receive spiritually the body and blood of Christ, draw nigh and receive this most holy sacrament. May the body and blood of Christ keep you in eternal life. Amen. Receive this mitre. wherewith I crown thee for this service of that our most dear Lord, who although he be God and man, yet he is not two, but one Christ. And as in himself he doth indissolubly unite two natures, so mayest thou in thyself forever join the attributes of wisdom and of love. Do thou, we pray thee, O Lord, fulfill in thy servant that which is betokened by these visible emblems, so that the virtue which in these garments is prefigured by sheen of gold, by flashing of gems and cunning of varied embroidery, may continually shine forth in his life and actions. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. O God, the shepherd and ruler of all the faithful, look down in thy loving kindness on this servant of thine, who has now become a pontiff and ruler in thy church. Grant him, we pray thee, O Lord, both by his ministration and by word and example, so to profit those over whom he is placed, that together with the flock committed to his care, he may continually increase in the knowledge of thy mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore.
Our help is in the name of the Lord, who hath made heaven and earth. Ita misa est, Dei o gratias. Do you like to get the blessing? Let's go back. Okay. Look and let me decide to bless. Okay. It is. The peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hands and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of the Son, Christ our Lord, and the blessings of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Regina Celi, letare alleluia, qui a quemero isti portare, alleluia. Resurrexit sicutixi, alleluia. Ora pro nobis deum, alleluia. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for joining us for this special ceremony and hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now. Good.